Okay, I'm making another video to update everyone on my bird buddy. I had to make a few adjustments because we have squirrels that can jump higher than four feet. <laughs> so I'll show you how I adjusted my setup. Okay, I added this squirrel baffle and uh, it was on this pole, which is only like four feet minus however I pounded it in the ground. And the squirrel finally figured out how to jump up and have a thing, a delicious dining event. So I've doubled it up high. I don't think I need to go quite so high, but I do love <clears throat> this little door they put here with the size for the sunflower seeds in there. We can't see anything, but anyway. Yeah, it's so handy with those little sides there. And I'm seeing that the sun, that my solar charger is prolonging how, how long I have to charge for. Um, and I've raised it another four feet, which is probably too high. But I'll show you. The setup, I just put it down. I took it down last night to I took it down last night so that I could charge the thing. So it's got a little I got a little connector and the squirrel baffle and then the feeder. Um, it's a little tall. I think in a high wind it's totally gonna not. Uh, work so I need I think I'll cut this upper one it doesn't need to be four feet I think it only needs to be like two to three feet so I'm going to take a couple feet off but I'll leave like this for a while see because the uh, chickadees love it they like come from the trees and they go right in anyway and it just the baffle just sits on that brace thing. Just got this on Amazon. And it just so once it's in, it's nice and high. And already the, the bird is yelling at me. Ready to hop in. So, four foot, one inch, or less than one inch, they call it a one inch, but it's not. And a dowel, and then that coupler. This coupler here is too small. I need to make that bigger. And it probably doesn't need to be eight feet high. But the funny thing was, after I extended it, the squirrel, was going all over. It's climbing up in the evergreen trees behind me there. And it's coming into this uh, maple and this old cherry. And it was trying to figure out how to get up there. But so far it hasn't figured out how to get up there. So uh, that's a great thing. And just a shot from inside the house on the main floor. It's high from the yard, but actually it's right outside the window at this height. It's been working out pretty well. It works really well for the birds because it's a short flight from the cherry to there and from there to the maple tree. And um, I have yet to see it being used as a hawk drive through, but that is a risk. And so if that starts to happen, I will um, have to put a bigger pole and uh, a frame, a wire frame around the feeder.